What now? Cluster's coming over. Hello, Lowell. Mike. Don. There has been so much soul searching about this Wigan. I've decided we should cut an alternate version of the show without his interview. So what happened to Ms. Caparelli's checking with outside counsel first, all that crap? That's happening. And hopefully we won't have to use the alternate, but we should have it in the can. I'm not touching my film. I'm afraid you are. No, I'm not. We're doing this with or without you, Lowell. If you like, I can assign another producer to edit your show. Well, since when has the uh, paragon of investigative journalism allowed lawyers to determine the news content on 60 Minutes? It's an alternate version. So what if we have an alternate version? And I don't think her being cautious is so damned unreasonable. So now, if you will excuse me, gentlemen, Mr. Rather's been complaining about his chair again. Before you go, I discovered this. SEC filing for the sale of CBS Corporation to Westinghouse Corporation. What? Yeah, I heard rumors. Not a rumor, it's a sale. If Tish can unload CBS for $81 a share to Westinghouse and then is suddenly threatened with a multi-billion dollar lawsuit from Brown and Williamson, that could screw up the sale, could it not? And what are you implying? I'm not implying, I'm quoting. Uh, more vested interests. Persons who will profit from this merger Ms. Helen Caparelli, general counsel of CBS News, 3.9 million. Mr. Eric Cluster, president of CBS News, 1.4 million. Are you suggesting that she and Eric are influenced by money? No, no, of course they're not influenced by money. They work for free. And you are a volunteer executive producer. Okay, CBS does not do that. And you're questioning our journalistic integrity. No, I'm questioning your hearing. You hear reasonable and tortious interference. I hear potential Brown and Williamson lawsuit jeopardizing the sale of CBS to Westinghouse. I hear shut the segment down, cut Wigan loose, obey orders, and fuck off. That's what I hear. You're exaggerating. I am? You pay me to go get guys like Wigan, to draw him out, to get him to trust us, to get him to go on television. I do. I deliver him. He sits, he talks. He violates his own fucking confidentiality agreement. And he's only the key witness in the biggest public health reform issue, maybe the biggest, most expensive corporate malfeasance case in U.S. history. And Jeffrey Wigand, who's out on the limb, does he go on television and tell the truth? Yes. Is it newsworthy? Yes. Are we going to air it? Of course not. Why? Because he's not telling the truth. No because he is telling the truth. That's why we're not gonna air it. And the more truth he tells, the worse it gets. You are a fanatic, an anarchist, you know that? If we can't have a whole show, then I want half a show rather than no show. But oh no, not you. You won't be satisfied unless you're putting the company at risk. What are you? Are you a businessman or are you a newsman? Because that happens to be what Mike and I and some other people around here do for a living. Lowell. Put the corporation at risk? Give me a fucking break. Lowell. These people are putting our whole reason for doing what we do on the line. Lowell. What? I'm with Don on 